Hello and welcome everybody, my name is Anthony and this video is brought to you by ElixirProgrammer.com and in this video I will show you how to install locally on your Windows machine the Elixir programming language and the Visual Studio Code editor with some configurations and the Phoenix web development framework with the PostgreSQL database so we can build web applications. If you like the content and you want to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Let's not waste any more time and let's get right into it. Let's do the Elixir installation. Open up your browser and Google search for Elixir Land and click on the official the Elixir programming language website. Click on install and select your operating system. I'm using Windows so I'm going to uh, select the Windows installer so I'm going to download that file and then uh, run the file and once the file is uh, open then just click on next and select the latest version at the moment of this tutorial is 1.13.3 and then just uh, click on next I already have it installed that's why it's telling me that to uninstall the previous version but if you do not have it installed you won't have to do that then just click on next and then click on install I will not install it because I already have it installed and then go ahead and now up, open your browser again and Google search for Visual Studio Code and click on the official Visual Studio Code website and download the file for your operating system I'm using Windows so I will uh, download the Windows installer once it's downloaded just run the file and it's pretty simple just like any other Windows programming installation uh, just click on next on everything and just select all the uh, default configuration and then click on install and then click on finish to launch the uh, Visual Studio Code and that's it now we have a, a code editor okay now that we have Elixir install in our machine and we have the Visual Studio Code editor also installed let's do some configuration to our uh, code editor so we can be on the same page first let's install some extensions if you click here on this icon over here that it says extensions let's search for material uh, material team that's going to be the team that we are going to install and select this one the the one that is made that is made by Equinoxio and click on install and just uh, wait until it's already installed okay now that it's installed uh, let's also install the material team icons by Philippe Kiv click on install set it up and now we are also going to need elixir support for the code editor so click uh, search for elixir ls or just elixir and click and select this one it says elixir ls ls elixir support 
and click in install. And we are also going to need some support for Phoenix. So search for Phoenix and select this one that says Phoenix Framework and click on install. Okay, so we have the basic uh, extensions. Now go back to the Elixir LS extension and click on this gear over here and select extension settings. And here, okay, yeah, so it should be okay okay so you don't really have to do anything on these settings now uh, click on the gear here and click on settings and let's make the tab to just two space so that's the default and let's select the word wrap let's make it on and under the text editor under formatting let's click format on paste let's select that option and on save also let's install uh, the phoenix framework open up your browser and google search for phoenix framework and click on the official phoenix framework website and click on guides and then click on installation then top and this is the official installation page uh, for the phoenix framework so the first thing that we are going to do is to install the hex uh, package manager so copy this command and go to your editor and open up a new terminal select the git bash and move it to a uh, window tab over here and paste the uh, command and hit on enter so we can install the hex package manager it's okay now just hit enter or say yes type in y and hit enter so it can be installed and now that's done and copy this command over here and then paste that on your terminal and hit enter to install the Phoenix framework it's going to install at the moment of this uh, tutorial this course the latest version of Phoenix is 1.6.6 that's going to be the version that we're going to install so it's compiling the files and generating the Phoenix generator hit enter to say yes and that's it now it's installed also the default database is going to be PostgreSQL so we are going to install it also click on installation guides for the PostgreSQL and click on Windows because that's my operating system you can choose your operating system then click here on running and installing and click on download uh, download page for windows so you can go to the download page and click on download the installer so uh, the installer is going to be downloaded then choose you have to choose your operating system on this page so mine is windows 64-bit uh, so that's going to be the version that that I'm going to install once the file is uh, downloaded just run the file so we can 
and run the installer okay now uh, it's just like a regular uh, program that you install on Windows just click on next click next you select the default configuration and just click next and then you have to provide a password uh, make sure that you provide Postgres uh, as the password it's the one that is on the screen right now that's the password that you are going to provide so that's going to be the password and then click next just let that default port there and you don't really have to change the port if you want to you can go ahead and do that and click next and just keep clicking next and then uh, just clicking, uh, keep clicking next until it's installed. And that's it. Then once it's installed, click on finish. And it's gonna ask you for the stack builder. Uh, but you don't really need uh, any of that. That is for some extra fixtures on your installation, but we won't use any of those extra fixtures so we can just cancel out of that and that's it that's everything that you need to uh, for Phoenix and the Phoenix framework if you want to join the elixir army and get more elixir content visit the website elixirprogrammer.com